two very famous programming language for machine learning is a Python and R. And in this video, I'm going to give you true advice what to opt and what not to opt so that you succeed in your machine learning career in a much better way. Coming up. Alright, let's get into the video. So before you move ahead, I want you to pause this video, go to the Google and search for Python versus R. You'll find many links giving almost the same opinions. How they start is they will give you some features of Python, they'll give you some features of R and then eventually tell you that if you come from so and so field, it depends upon your interest, you can either go with Python or with R. But if you ask from a data scientist who is working on Python, he would say that he prefers Python because Python is easy to learn. It has very good library support like Matplot, Pandas and Scikit-learn and it has a very great community online so you should be working on Python. Whereas if you ask from a guy who is working on R, he would say that it's good, Python is good but R has a very good statistics approach and also has an inbuilt visualization tools that will help you to go and start writing your algorithms on the go. So which one should you opt? Or even if it's the right question that which one should you opt? Using the best practices from both Python and R, why don't we have an approach where we use both these languages simultaneously at the same time to get the best output? Very recently, GitHub announced their report that said that both Python and R are one of the top famous programming languages used for machine learning. Although we also had JavaScript, Java and C++ in the top list, the reason R really lagged in those lists was because R do not have a good community online. Maybe because guys have now started working on it, although it came back in 1990s, but R really got into popularity because coming into machine learning. So I believe it should not be Py R versus Python, whereas it has a better approach when we say it should be Python and R. Couple of libraries that will really help you to have this approach are the R Python that helps you um, call your Python codes in your R language that you have written and a library that is pipe R that helps you call R codes in your Python language. Did I do something wrong? Yes, I'll give the link in the description. So actually I found this article from one of very famous bloggers that I love to read her articles. Her name is Parul Pandey. I'll give her article in the link in the description so that you can go and read in much more details. She also gives you a quote sample on how you can actually use it and covers the entire documentation on whether it should be Python versus R or it should be Python and R. I love to go online and read blogs and articles. I'll also bring soon my blog where I post the articles and more specifically the code snippets that you guys keep on asking me to upload. Thank you so much for your love and support. I keep videos uploading on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. That's all because your love and support helps me do that. Thank you so much for watching this video till here. My name is Stephen Simon. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.